Let's talk about finite linear patterns. So it says consider the finite linear pattern. Um, there's a finite or fixed number of terms. So that's the meaning of linear pattern. And it's important to write down the general formula for a linear pattern. It's a n plus d, where a is the first difference, right? So let's look at the first question. It says write down the fourth term of the pattern. So I think that's a very straightforward question. I think uh, the first difference already is there. So important, let's just label the different parts of the pattern. Tn is the term and n is the position of the term. 1, 2, 3, up to n. Remember n is the position and Tn is the term itself. So that's very important, right? So 20 minus 3 should give you 17. And similarly, 17 minus 3 should give you 14. And therefore, 14 minus 3 should give you 11. So the fourth term is 11, right? So therefore, T4, T4 is equals to 11, right? So let's have a look at the second question. Um, it says, determine the expression for the nth term, right? Yeah, just important, um, the first difference is negative three. So it's worth noting. So let's have a look at 3.2. Determine the expression of the nth term. Important to start off with a general formula for a linear pattern. That is T in the term is equals to the first difference A times the position N plus D. Okay, therefore T in is equals to negative 3 n plus d so the objective is to find d it's possible because we have a lot of terms and we have a lot of positions so let's use the second position um, that is term 17 and substitute it into the formula to find the 17 the term is equals to negative 3 oh okay I'll write that properly negative 3 times position 3 right the second position I, I beg your pardon plus D so now it's just a matter of solving for D negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 plus D so therefore it implies that D is equals to positive 23 so this implies that Tn should be equals to negative 3n plus 23, right? Let's go to the third question. Calculate the number of terms in the sequence. So basically, it's just looking for the position of the last term, negative 103 very straightforward question just finding the position at what number at what position is negative 103 so just a matter of substituting negative 103 should be equals to negative 3n plus positive 23 right So, therefore, negative 126 should be equals to negative 3n, divide both sides by negative 3n, negative 3, negative 3 cancel out, this implies that n should be equals to 42. So, uh, negative 103 is at position 40. 
in the sequence rectification n is supposed to be 42 right let's go to 3.4 which term is the first to have a negative value so tn should be essentially smaller all values it's just a matter of let's let's construct an inequality all values tn should be smaller than zero right that's what we're working with what value of the pattern should be smaller than zero so let's substitute negative 3n plus 23 should be all negative values all values smaller than zero let's find out which at which position is that right what values of n should be smaller than should be should give you a negative value so 23 is, should be smaller than 3n divide both sides by 3 3 and 3 cancel out and 23 divided by 3 is rounded off gives us 7 rounded off to the nearest whole number so essentially n should be greater than 7 n should be greater than 7 so the first negative value is when n is equals to 8 right that's when we'll get the first negative value in the pattern and then let's look at 3.5 let's have a look at 3.5 it says um, what is the value of the 19th even value term in the sequence what is the value of the 19th even valued term in the sequence right so if we look at the it's let's let's for simplicity let's rewrite the number pattern 20 17 14 11 i'm not going to write all the terms just the first few so that we can try and establish a formula that would satisfy the even valued terms right and let's mark where our even value and odd value terms are that's even that's odd even odd even odd right so let's check if there's a relationship between even values uh, 20 minus 14 is 20 minus 6 is 14 and 14 minus 6 is 8 so there's a first difference so now we can establish in a, a formula for even valued terms right so tn should be negative 6 n plus right so we can use um, a pair of values right one two that's a second even just note I think we can use the second set um, position two when the term is 14 that is a position to the objective is just to find D minus 6 times 2 is negative 12 plus d so therefore d should give us 26 right so now we have a formula that works for even valued terms in the sequence so now it's quite straightforward let's check if it works for the third term t3 right We'll see if we can find the third term. Okay, plus 24. So now it's just a matter of substitution. So let's use the third term. 
the third term in the even pattern t3 is equals to minus 6 times 3 plus 24 right this is equals to minus 18 plus 24 and that should give us positive 6 no wait a minute i made a mistake here Oh, I, I found it. Um, 24 is, I wrote, D is not supposed to be 24. D is supposed to be 26. So let me just correct that quickly. Um, let me just erase these fours here, right? So it's supposed to be 26. Uh, the formula for the even valued um, terms in the sequence. So negative 18 plus 26 is 8. And that is what we have in the third term. Perfect. So now this formula can work for any term, any position within the even valued sequence. So T19 should be negative 6 times 19 plus 26. And this should give us negative 88. 